from downtown Los Angeles. This week, we are almost at Halloween. Halloween's in what? Two days. Two days. So we're here dressed up just for you, and I hope you're dressed up too. Um, I guess it's time to introduce ourselves if you haven't seen the show before or if you just don't remember our names, but I don't know if that's possible. So um, I'm Kasha, and I'm dressed up as a sugar hooker. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> I am Andrea, and I'm Courtney Love. In the 90s, though, when she was a badass. And I'm Jared. I'm a random jungle animal. <laughs> that goes like this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if you haven't watched our show before, every week we have a secret word. And when we say this secret word, you have to scream. Like this. <laughs> So this week, our secret word is scary. Ah! Oh, me? <laughs> Anyone who dressed up for the party, I see you guys. Make sure to get in one of our featured chat windows during the show. At the end, we will vote, and we'll all have a vote for best dress. That person will win a sugar hooker skull and diamond print backpack. So we see you guys. Make sure to give other people opportunity to be seen, and we'll do some voting at the end of the show. I'm so excited. There's so many people dressed up in the room right now. Everybody who has a camp spot is dressed up. Yay! So congratulations, you guys are awesome. Yay. I hope even more people try to get on there with their costumes. You guys look great. So where is everyone uh, checking in uh, from today? Where are you guys at? What's your age? And uh, male, female, et cetera. You know the drill. Let us know. I see a camp spot just opened up. Someone with a with a costume, with a costume needs to get in it. I like the Indian. Hey, Sammy. That's cool. Sammy, sugar hooker Sammy's not with us, but she's uh, checking in from Spain. Yay. Hey, Hi, Idris. Sammy. Sammy in Spain. This wig itches. <laughs> well, we'll show you, um, and we'll talk to you about some uh, quick tip ideas on Friday about what kind of DIY costumes you can make from uh, your home. And uh, Clara will help us uh, figure that all out, because I, I was in the same boat today, but we'll talk more about that. It looks like there are two trannies. They just said, one person said, I'm a girl stuck in a male's body, and the other one said, they're a tranny. Right I like on. That. I love trannies. I'm a huge fan. Well, we're a, we're a loving community, so welcome all. I love everybody. All. Welcome weird, random jungle animals. Mm -hmm. You know, it's hard being this way. All shapes and sizes, we love them. Okay, so next up. Here's a traditional Halloween game that we'd like to show you. Um, it's a little bit on the history, but first, we're going to have a little bit on the history, but first let's uh, get our game ingredients list going. So can we get some ingredients? Okay, so um, first you're going to need some flour, and that represents dirt. Then you're going to need some water. Then you're going to need a ring, beads, to represent rosary beads, a coin, a jelly bean, to represent a real bean, we just didn't, we were, didn't want to go buy a bag of beans, so we got jelly beans because we know we'd eat those, and a blindfold. So this is a game that you guys can play. Uh, we never heard of it before. We thought it sounded really fun. So this is basically, Andrea will tell you about, you know, this whole situation. Okay, so some games are played, some games traditionally played at Halloween are forms of divination. In Puccini. 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 I think that should be our secret word. That's a good Puccini. word. It's fun to say. Puccini. Okay. Um, a game played in Ireland. <laughs> a blindfolded person is seated in front of a table on which several saucers are placed. Or paper bowls. Those were that works too. The saucers are shuffled, <laughs> and the seated person then chooses one by touch. The contents of the saucer determines the person's life during the following year. 
so this is like saucer. I know. So this is like a fortune telling Halloween game. Mm -hmm. So um, it's kind of kind of more fun than all the other games we thought of. <laughs> 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 what so, about why does the feather stiff as a board? Oh, we could have done that. Here. We thought about a, having a seance here. We just. I'm scared. I'm a scaredy cat, so that's probably okay. That's my outfit. A Maybe that's what cat. I am. A scaredy cat. Yeah, that works. I'm a scaredy cat, and so um, we did uh, something a little more safe, so I won't cry. I noticed Aww. there was no Ouija board. No. <laughs> okay. So if you get the saucer that <laughs> contains Earth, yeah, it means that someone you know will die during the next year. So you don't want to get that. Don't one. get that one. A saucer with water. Foretells emigration, so you will be moving somewhere, or somebody will be moving to your location. A ring foretells marriage, and a set of rosary beads indicates that the person will take holy orders, becoming a nun or a priest. A coin means new wealth, a bean means poverty, and so on. So oh, wait, do we have all the ingredients We have here? a bean. What, what does the flower mean? Oh. Hey, you know, I think we need a, a coin. Anybody? We need a coin and water. I just hope I get the rosaries. And two bowls. Are I hope my fortune says that I'm going to be a nun. There you go, guys. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, it got lost. Oh, there it is. Okay. I mess everything up. <laughs> I don't know why I'm invited here. OK, we need one more bowl No. All right, we'll put it in there and you can okay, choose. Okay, let's play with Kasha first. Oh, yeah. Oh. Kasha's fun to play with. Okay. Oh, my God, I'm nervous. Woo! Okay. Do I look better blindfolded? Can Is you that see? You <laughs> no, not at all. Switch him, switch him, yeah, switch Yeah, switch around. around. She doesn't know nothing. She don't know nothing. I'm nervous. And don't don't be feely McGeely here. Okay, you can't okay. Just, <clears throat> you can't just feel around for the fortune the you want. You it grab, doesn't work like that, yo. You have to take. Yeah. You touch it, you take it. That's the rules. That's what she said. Oh, I can do it now? Yeah, go okay, for it. Okay, okay. Catch a tiger by the toe. Wait, do it! Hey, oh, hey. no! Oh, my God. Are you <laughs> kidding me? She I got, got the dirt. The dirt. That's oh, not good. Me. Hopefully, this is all oh. just BS. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. In advance <laughs> for your loss. I've never lost anyone before. <laughs> now, just because I'm on the show, get a, get a goldfish. Get a goldfish. That's an idea. It'll. That's an idea. You work Aww. with your fortune. I just lost a pet. Maybe that could be like a. That's a, past. a post fortune. All right, Andrew, you're up. Okay. Hopefully, you do a little better than I did. Or, I, I mean, for the Courtney rosary. Love. Yeah. You're I was hoping up. for the rosary. We have any Courtney don't, Love fans here? Don't ruin my win. That's a total. I'll be very upset. You look good with that on. Yeah, because it's covering my ugly face. You have to move the balls around. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Sorry for the lag. <clears> hey, <throat> okay, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, wait. Grab one. Pick one. Bean. <laughs> Oh my oh daughter! God. Bean. It's my daughter! Why is this like Bean? Bean. Francis! It's a oh, sign of bean. okay. Alright. What does a uh, bean mean? Um. Uh, poverty. Yeah. Oh, so we're boom. both doing really well, This Jared. is like the weird bum out. <laughs> <laughs> this is the bum out game. 